industry this time around i decided to go up and about to look for two of the finest uh these are uh, some of the best uh you'll ever find i'm talking about wanjiku mwoganga you have to say huh, huh. yeah mwoganga and of course martin kigondu they have an amazing play it's called echoes that is going to be going down at the kenya national theater it's a thematic expression of love and of course when i move towards uh valentine's and everyone has the pressure osg to pendan sg nini and on hot topics i'll tell you what the government has told its people they should probably hug animals i'll tell you which animal it is but for now these are two amazing amazing actors ladies and gentlemen uh, ladies and gentlemen put your hands together for wanjiko and martin i'm super excited and that's why i'm, I'm eating up with my words because it's an honor to actually meet you good morning morning bro yeah it's an morning honor. it's an honor actually have you right here martin i've known you for years you you don't know who i am <laughs> i don't really like uh yeah that's more or less it i should mm -hmm. do for today mm -hmm. yeah yeah i'm wanjiko mabuganga i'm a writer director actor um yeah film enthusiast also trying to get into film directing mm -hmm. yeah and i'm excited to be here i'm so excited for you because today starting today yeah you're doing amazing work of art called echoes so what's echoes all about yeah you want to do <laughs> okay so echoes is um love story mm -hmm. a terminal love story about um a couple miriam and um ronald the one of them is a beekeeper ronald and then miriam is a physicist so it's an unlikely couple mm -hmm. that ends up falling in love it, uh, but we follow the love story through different parallel universes mm -hmm. so <laughs> yes exactly it's like exactly. multiple universes uh, your pharmacist exactly. and he's a beekeeper and a he physicist a, yeah a, a, a physicist and you fall in love yes uh, just tell me how 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 long it took you to prepare for this I know you've done a, a bunch of other productions, but how different is this one from the rest of the ones that you've done? The others. Uh, the biggest difference has to be the format, because it's easy to think of the metaverse. I'm a part of the universes on screen, mm -hmm. but on stage, that's a different thing altogether. Uh, and we are grateful we had the privilege of working on it for at least at least a month. Mm -hmm. So it's been back-to-back -back rehearsals. Mostly the rehearsals focusing on just understanding what every universe uh, and exper its experience is in that one because with the different universes we try different things uh, we are still the same two characters it's only that as the two characters we keep you know uh, experiencing different things so we still he's, she's still a physicist i'm still a beekeeper but in every one we make different choices uh, the first time we meet in a different place in a different universe we meet in a different place but the love story takes different trajectories so it's been quite a challenge just trying to be articulate with every different experience and every different path like love we think about all the people we've been with and could have been with and all the different paths we could have taken so this is sort of a canvas of just exploring where that path could have gone had we broken up after our first fight what would that have meant had we decided to stick it through we we'll see how that goes it is it is i wish you could do that in real life you know right. the moments when you just yeah. freeze the the time uh that you almost fighting with someone or you fight with someone and you're like ah this is not the probable outcome so kill and tafanya for a relationship yeah what's an exit how many fanya get to plan is so that i save the relationship yeah. but it's super exciting to actually learn that um it's it's a two-hander the, the first two-hander i watched uh i was pretty young because i i also had an interest in theater yeah. so I, i really wanted to get on stage but the technicalities of just uh the first uh production i watched was uh, it featured robin williams and they were at a bus station just waiting for uh, uh waiting for the bus and there's a conversation between two strangers oh. and and the exciting thing about what uh you're doing is that the preparation of it is intimate mm -hmm. like you must know oh quite the nitty gritties of each other personalities even if it doesn't blend naturally you yeah. must find a way of working with each other yeah. just talk to me about being in the space and 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 getting to even understand that you know what the transition from film 
uh, to theater and theater to film mm -hmm. and, and the back and forth of it? Okay, um, being in the space has been quite a challenge, um, but it's been good being with him. Like you said, you have to have like really intense chemistry. And uh, Martin is a very professional actor who holds you, who works with you. Mm -hmm. And then um, the difference between theater and film for me is that theater has to be a bit amplified as opposed to film. Mm -hmm. And um, for me, I'm more of a subtle <laughs> actor. So that's the thing that I'm... Is that what you go for or it's something that you, you just find yourself doing? I well, sometimes yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then the casting director decides, you know what, maybe you'll just be a good person in all productions. <laughs> no, I think I naturally gravitate towards subtlety. Um, but I've come to realize that also, it's, it's also a misconception. You can just be subtle in theater. There's no one way of doing things, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's exciting. Yeah. Let's talk to us about your journey in general, because uh, most people don't know uh the journey that you've had I, yeah. I, I was reading your bio and it was talking about some of the productions you've done yeah and some are notable <laughs> let's talk to us about the whole process of you becoming who you are today okay um i started uh, i started with theater i started studying at kenya at thai university i did theater arts and film after that i um i joined the phoenix and did a production oh, with Martin. Oh my goodness, yeah. you, you performed at the Phoenix. Yeah. Okay, yeah. most of the youngins right now don't know what the Phoenix is. <laughs> yeah, Phoenix. But that was the place where I watched Lupita. Yes. She was not, she was not at your big name, like, she was just <laughs> some girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then sugar happened, yeah. and, then, and then her life propelled. Exactly, yeah. yeah. And uh, that's how we actually met with Martin. We did a, a production there when Phoenix was in its last um, lap, its final lap. And um, after that, I went on to the theatre company, which we still went with him, um, and um, ended up taking a break from acting, because I thought I'd want to pursue something else. And I got into writing and directing, writing for screen and directing for, for theatre specifically. Mm -hmm. I worked on a production called We Won't Forget. We Won't Forget was... Um, it, it was really received well by critics. Quote unquote. By us. <laughs> <laughs> yes. By <laughs> <laughs> And uh, we got to travel to Rwanda for the Ubuntu Festival, and then we got to also travel to Kampala, and it also was at the ja yeah, what's called um, some festival in some literature festival in Kenya. And um, after that, I just realized, ah, this is something that I really want to do. Like, I, there's something here. Mm -hmm. And um, I got to work with Twelve for Birds as the director. The first four shows, Twelve for Birds was a storytelling show that really... It was big. Yeah, it was. It was big. had really yeah. many notable names. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. and um, they invited me to direct the show. And, of course, I accepted. And then um, after that, um, I took a break again from directing and said that this is the time to come back to acting and um, in 2019, 20, uh, no 2020, I ended up doing um, a show called Roots. Uh, Roots is a, an autobiographical one woman show which focuses on my... Oh, so you've done also a one woman show? Yes. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's it's, um, it's autobiographical, it's about my birth story and about postpartum and um, how I went through that journey and it's just me trying to figure out uh, the lineage and uh, my lineage basically mm -hmm. um, and how that has had contributed to postpartum epigenetics it's a lot so yeah <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I can't take it like to that tell me <laughs> tell me <laughs> Yeah, and so then it's basically the struggles that someone goes exactly, through after giving birth. Exactly. But it's all, it's <laughs> yeah. exposure yeah. pretty much brings in the vocabulary. Yeah, exactly. Martin, how's your journey been? Because uh, uh, so I've known you for so many years and I'm, I usually watch you in productions. I'm like, I know Martin, but yeah. yeah. Just talk to us a little bit about how, how you came to be. Came, hey. Um, yeah, so we're still on the path. Definitely excited for who we could be. Uh, right now where I'm at and how I've gotten here has been just back-to-back -back theater you know um, uh, last Jamhuri December season I celebrated my 15th year 
So we've now just started the 16th one, yay. Uh, but getting there was a bit of everything. I started out traveling theater, first two, three years, then went to the Phoenix. I did Phoenix for uh, seven years. Uh, seven years of the Phoenix back to back, after which I went uh, on to work a bit with the theatre company, like Wanjiko said. And in between, I've been doubling up with a bit of screenwriting for different companies and different projects. Uh, 2015, late 2015, I started my company, Prevail Presents. And uh, Prevail Presents has been consistently where I've put out my thoughts as a playwright and also my style as a director. So yeah, and here we are. Um, last year was me just saying yes to plays again. I'd um, been away from the acting gig for a minute there, mm -hmm. uh, COVID of course. Uh, so once we were done, I did Kagia, John Seabees in uh, 2019. Soon as that was done, I knew I'm at a stage in my career where I, uh, a play every two years is fine. Then COVID happened and COVID reminded us that we don't have that privilege. Oh my goodness, you don't know? even talk about COVID. Uh, yeah. But so, the good thing is that there were so many monologues that were done during COVID. Uh, people decided to do monologue competitions. Mm. Most of the actors decided to take that space and create, um, t just turn their living rooms into sets yeah. and it changed everything. Did, Did that cut down on the numbers? Because now I'm seeing smaller and smaller and smaller plays. Uh, did it? I. I, I really don't think so. I, I actually think the opposite happened. After COVID, people also realized they needed that, that bit of a culture of going out. Mm -hmm. So last year, we've had back-to-back -back productions. Uh, JJ's Chatterbox uh, production has sold out the Braeburn a couple of times. Mm -hmm. um, Stuart, uh, Stuart Nash and Gogiwa Thiongo, they've sold out. So I think small is a choice, just like, say, Echo's is a choice. The intimacy and the tightness of it is a choice. But I think the numbers are there. But we are yet to get to where we could be because we always say if only 1% of Nairobi went to the theaters, just 1%. 0.01% of Nairobi. <laughs> if 0.01% of Nairobi went to theater, we'd have an industry. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But, but it's exciting how the numbers are now, there are more. Yeah, because because I've been in the scene. I acted for a, a number of years. Then decided to do other things, uh, as you did. But yeah. for me, other things meant that hey, I ain't coming back. Hey, <laughs> yeah. when I'm not, yeah, you are not going to see me ever again. <laughs> but but the most exciting thing uh, about theatre right now is that it has turn it kawash to turn it kasapot nani. So it's more of how many friends do you have, mm -hmm. the social currency, and 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 its expansive nature. Mm -hmm. But we haven't had a notion yeah. or a culture whereby uh, it's Sunday, mm. so it's Sunday for theatres. Mm. What can we do to build such a culture? Because it starts with the actors mm. and the, the custodians, yeah. then later on to our families, because mm. now the bag is with our families, yeah. and then now the ripple effect goes into the, the rest of the nation. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think it's, it's happening gradually and automatically. Um, like he mentioned, um, Chatterbox and uh, Stuart, they've, uh, and like Twirly for Birds mm -hmm. and the BYSS, they've started understanding like marketing as a skill. They're starting to professionalize in that way. And also, um, I feel like also the stand, not really standardization, but there's a, the niches that have been created. Like for instance, if I go to a Prevail Arts show, I know what to expect. So in that way, the culture is growing. Um, I do believe that um, people need to get out there more, of course. We need to up that number. But I feel like I'm, I'm a believer in growth, no matter how long it takes. Mm -hmm. So I do, I have seen like a very steady, but definitely it's there, the climb is there. It's happening, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, uh, what do you think about the thing? Um, I'd say culture, culture requires time. You know, uh, the Phoenix had that where a family would know every third Thursday of the month is when we go to watch a play and a child would know this is what they did as a family. Mm -hmm. And I think culture takes, takes time and it's only us just sharing that this could be a thing. So with the two early for birds and the rest, we tell our families, our girlfriends, our, you know, our so relatives. 
Kisema hivi inakani kama uko na wengi. That's what I meant. Tuende kambumbi. Unajua? Like niko yeah. But yes, but we make it a thing where it's date night, you know? Let's go to the theater. Uh, we are having a family fun day. Why not do a play, then do drinks later mm -hmm. or something like that? I think it's only a matter of choice and we can keep pushing. Mm -hmm. uh, because pre pre Muthoni uh, drama queen, uh, blankets and wines, we knew it could be a thing to go for a concert or something like that. Then she did her thing and we now look forward to those. Yeah. And I think it's the same with theater. And it's we actually it back. Uh, it is? Yeah, yeah blankets yeah. and wines is yeah, back. Last year. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so this, and they've put out their calendar already and people know we can set our dates for this. And mm -hmm. I think the same could be done for theatre. Mm -hmm. Let's make it a thing. We are excited to go to, to work. Martin and yeah. Ranjiko, thank you so much for creating time to just come and give us a breath of fresh air. Uh, not many TV stations talk about uh, productions in theatre, or the mind of theatre. Mm. And thank you so much for the expression of it. I'd like you to invite people to come watch the production. Uh, to come watch Echoes, right yeah, there. the camera. Yeah. A, uh, at home yeah. or in the office. Yeah, it's quite early. Yeah? Uh, Karim Sana, we have a plan for you this Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So on Friday, that is tonight, we'll have uh, a show at the National Theatre, Checha Gallery. Very intimate space because this is a very profound and intimate play uh, about love that you'll definitely enjoy. Wanjiko Mwabuganga is sublime. But in Kigondo, is quite all right, I think. Yeah, if you I do say, say that myself. It's sublime. <laughs> and, yeah. <laughs> Would you like to say something to invite people? Yes. Right there? Um... Echoes is one of those plays that you really need to experience. Like, it's just one of those productions that you need to watch. And I'm not saying it because we are part of it. I'm saying it because... Right here, right here. Oh, it's there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm saying it because even as one of the actors, it moves me every time I perform it. And I know it's going to move you. I'm not, I know it's going to be amazing, an amazing experience. Come with your friends, come with your... Anyone actually you will experience a different version of yourself every time you watch it mm -hmm. and you can come for the three days it's on 10th 11th and 12th mm -hmm. on 10th it's at 7 p.m on 11th it's at 6 p.m right and on uh, 12th it's at 3 p.m and 6 p.m so definitely come through with your family your friends your enemies anyone <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Thank you so much for That's creating time you. to talk to us. I'll Thank be there you. on Sunday. Oh, okay. so, so if you're watching KTN News, make sure that you go check out this production. It's going to be at the Kenya National Theatre, Echoes. Just go there and ask for Echoes. They'll make sure that you get an opportunity to watch the production. On the other side of the break, we have pop culture stories, some of the stories that are trendy and are making the headlines of the entertainment scene. Keep on using the hashtag KTN Morning Prime. Tag me at Brian underscore